If you're looking for some interesting music topics to research and use as assessments with your music appreciation class, look no further. In this video, I'm going to give you 15 research topic ideas that will get your class excited about learning more about music. Hi everyone, I'm Julia from GU Teaching Resources and I'm a music educator with over 20 years of experience in the music classroom. In this video, I'm going to talk about 15 fun music topics that you can research and discuss in your music appreciation class. These are all topics that will get your students excited about learning more about the history and development of music. So go and grab yourself your favourite hot beverage, because it's going to be a long one, and let's get started. music topics that you can use to research with your classes 15 ideas and within those there's lots more ideas let's get started so the 15 ideas are music or composer biography music history music theory music genres music of a culture stylistic features of a genre elements of music analysis history of musical instruments types of music ensembles instruments of a culture Musical techniques for performance, musical techniques for composing, music festivals, music and technology, music for the stage. Finding music topics to research that your music appreciation class will love can be a challenge at times. Fortunately, there are plenty of exciting and interesting music topics to research and explore when it comes to music appreciation. This video is jam-packed with fun music topic ideas that make great projects and assessments for your music classes. So let's get started because there's a lot to cover today. Musician or composer biography. So one of the easiest and most used topics to research in the music classroom is the biography of a famous composer throughout history. This type of music research topic can be done from on any number of composers throughout history, from Beethoven to Mozart to Bach. Some of the most influential composers in history have left an indelible mark on music as well as we know it today. Your music students can explore the works of several famous composers from different eras and consider what made them unique and revolutionary for their time period. So if you're looking for this type of music topic to research with your classes, there are several bundles that I actually have in my store and I'll show you those in a moment. And look, honestly, you just have to choose a composer, choose which pages you want to use and you're right to go. So the two are, as you can see, the bundle with Bach Beethoven, obviously that is your more traditional Western European tradition music so you from baroque to classical to romantic to more some more modern day stuff um as you can see because there's bernstein in there uh, but again that's more um that sort of composer very male dominated that one whereas the female composer bundle which i prefer personally is perfect for using for international women's day which is on march 8th okay every year it happens to be my birthday why not um but that is a great one. And again, either of these are perfect if you wanted to actually do composer of the month or composer of the week. Composer of the week, you still wouldn't get through. You'd probably get through one each week on both of those. Um, but say if you did it for the month, that's going to take you for a few years worth of um, listening lessons and um, research lessons. So there's lots there. Or if you do it and it's an assignment, give each kid a different person to research and let them go and then you can do it as presentations and that would take you again another as another way to do it depends on what you want to do with your classes music history another fantastic topic so another commonly used music topic to research is music history and typically the history of european music exploring different time periods of music is a great way to introduce students to vast range of sounds and styles within the world of music for this type of music assignment, try giving each student a different musical era to research its history, development, notal, notable artists and influence on other time periods. This is also an effective way to get students comfortable with using various sources for research. The different musical eras that you could use as a music topic to research are, now these are very, very broad topics. And again, you could do break these down into um, like different composers or different sort of 
things within each um, particular musical era. So we've got early music to 1400, huge broad range, Middle Ages music, Renaissance, Baroque, classical, romantic, 20th century, which is your 1900 to 2000s. And again, depending on which route you want to take, that could be your avant-garde type music. It could be more your rock music and the development of popular music. And also you could look at obviously modern day music, 2000 to present. Again, so many different things that you could actually go for there. Music theory. Although music theory is not required knowledge for all musicians out there, exploring musical theory will give your music students a deeper insight into why certain chords sound better than others or what makes a melody memorable. I know for the course I teach here in New South Wales, Music 1 course to Year 12, we don't have to do a lot of music theory. The kids don't actually have to have an understanding of music theory to get through the course and to do very well. It helps, but it's not necessary. This music research topic could incorporate any type of music theory and some broad music theory research topics include the history of new music notation, such an interesting topic, different ways that rhythm is notated and counted around the world, another really interesting topic, the development of music scales. Oh, yeah, these are fun. Music scales from around the world, chord progressions, musical form of a particular style, sonata, symphony, jazz, pop, program music, anything. Again, these are different, very broad, different um, music theory topics. So, you know, you can get your kids going um, and looking at things quite differently and uniquely. The next one, music genres. Using music genres as a music topic to research can be incredibly broad for students, especially if your study is on contemporary music. For this type of music research topic or assignment, try taking a closer look at subgenres within those broader categories, such as punk, rock, or rap, or hip hop. Now, even within those, there's lots of subgenres within each of those. You can have your music students research where these subgenres originated from, as well as any artists who help popularize them with their respective scenes. So I've got a couple of different music um, websites, okay, that will help you do this type of research and this type of assignment. Different sites have different um are better than others uh, and depending on what you're looking for and what you want your kids to do uh, they can be useful or maybe not too useful but I will warn you you could go down a rabbit hole with these particular sites because um, it's fun exploring okay musicgenrelist.com this site is a long list of different musical genres it's basically just a, a really good long list of different genres so it might be a place to start when you're doing assignments Chosik.com, this site has links to music samples and playlists. Okay, so different. if you're looking for a genre and you're looking for a particular sample, that's a good one to go to. Rateyourmusic.com, this is another long list of genres. It is a bit easier to navigate, but you do need to create an account. Okay, and I'm not sure that like, your school may not be able to let your kids do that. Um, examples.yourdictionary.com. This is another list site, but has lots of sub genres and world music. So lots of good um, references for world music in that one. Everynoise.com, one of my favorites. This one is my personal favorite. It has music samples all linked and mapped. You just click, click on a style and a music sample plays. This one would be best for comparing different styles of music. And honestly, for me, I'd probably use this one more with my senior students, grades 11 and 12, because it's a good way to look at different um, stylistic features, okay, which could have, that's another topic we're going to look at. Musicgenretree.org. This site has music mapped into a family tree. You can see where a style has its origins and influences. It's, again, another great way to see where music has come from, from this style to this style to this style and where it's all developed, okay? Another really interesting one. And musicmap.info, this music map site has parts to click to get reading passages um, on each music genre. It would be great for use use for researching so again you, it depends if your kids will be able to access some of these so you might you might be able to I know um, where I teach I have a lot more access to things um, through my department site than um, the kids do so depending on what you want to do and how you want to do it but please check um, but there are lots of really interesting sites there to help you do that type of um, assignment the next one we're looking at is music of a culture 
Introducing students to different musical cultures from around the globe is one way to show them how versatile and varied music from different regions can sound. Researching individual instruments from each culture allows students to understand how instrumentation contributes to genre-specific sounds, as well as how it has evolved over time due to technological advancements or cultural influences from around the world. So different cultures that you could have a look at. Okay, this is not a complete list, but if this is something, a place to start. Africa, Australia, China, East Asia and Korea, Eastern Europe, Indonesia, Native American music, Russian music, the Philippines, South America, South Asia, Southeast Asia, Southwest and Central Asia, Western Europe and Scandinavia. Now, this particular bundle here is one of my best-selling products. Um, it has lots and lots of different things in there to cover a few of the um, cultures that are mentioned there, not all of them. But there's that particular one, if you're looking to do something on each of those cultures, I have actually have another um, bundle. So go to my store and it's Music and Cultures Around the World bundle and it actually has, um, it's all about the instruments in it around the world. But again, there's a couple of resources to help you with music appreciation if you're looking at studying world um, music or music of a culture. This next one, stylistic features of a genre. So writing about music can be an interesting and creative task with numerous music genres to draw from, the list I was talking about before. There are a wealth of music topics to research and music topics for research papers that can provide a substantial focus for your music students. When exploring and researching the stylistic features of music genres, it's beneficial to go beyond surface level observations. Your students should not only research the history and evolution of their chosen style, but also look at the artists and stylistic features that define the music genre. From the influence of other genres, music instruments used, and the performers who have popularized certain sounds, Researching the stylistic features of a genre provides an exciting opportunity for exploration. All right, this is one of my favorites. And this is in this time of AI, artificial intelligence and chat GPT and all those other sites that are um, spitting out things. If you're getting your kids to research, they can do that really easily. This one, they can't cheat. No matter what they do, they can't cheat if they're going to do this, this type of assignment. My favorite one to do. Elements of music analysis. So music analysis using the elements of music is an extremely important skill for music students to cultivate and perfect. This type of music research assignment that focuses on music analysis can give your music students a chance to research music topics and apply their knowledge of music theory and composition in order to write about music. For this type of music research assignment, your music students can choose any piece of music, musician, composer or music style that they want to study. Once they have chosen their in, chosen their area of focus, they can use the elements of music to guide their analysis to music selected for study. By focusing on how each of the elements of music are used, your music students will help improve their listening skills, performance skills, and composition skills, as well as their critical thinking and writing skills. One of my most favorite ones to do is this one. Kids choose a piece of music and they analyze it through the lens of the elements of music or, you know, not even all eight. It might only be a couple. To help you with that, on this site, on this channel, go to the elements, um, the introduction to the elements of music. Okay, that will help. That's a really broad one. It's one of my um, most viewed videos. But I also have each of the elements of music, a video on each of those and a blog post on each of those. So it's a great way, place to start if you want to get your kids learning about the elements of music. But if you want something that's a bit done for you, this one's actually quite, um, again, another one of my best selling products music appreciation assignment bundle so this particular these particular assignments build on each other and typically what I used to do is the first assignment was the first one I'd given grade nine then the next one um, was the like semester one semester two and grade nine and the next one three and four semester one semester two for grade 10 and then by then um, they were developing into 11 and 12 and it, the assignments get even harder it's another one to do Sorry, the train's just going past. Um, but it's a really good um, an assignment. Again, any piece of music, doesn't matter what they choose, they can always listen to it through the lens of the elements of music. Fantastic one to use. All right, history of musical instruments. Learning about the history of musical instruments can be a fascinating way to explore different cultures and eras. One effective way for music students to learn about more about, sorry, start again. 
history of musical instruments. Learning about the history of musical instruments can be a fascinating way to explore different cultures and eras. One effective way for music students to learn more about music is to complete an assignment on the history of a musical instrument. This type of music assignment requires students to research music instruments in depth and develop an extended piece of writing on their findings. Through such music topics for research papers, it is possible to gain a better understanding of the methods of sound production by each instrument as well as the many ways that music has shaped society through the years. Choosing a unique music instrument such as Japanese drums or stringed instruments from around the world makes writing about music fun and interesting. When you assign each student a different music research topic or a different instrument, this gives each student the opportunity to explore something specific and meaningful within the larger world of culture and music. Now, this particular one, orchestral instruments, it's a great little bun, um, set of worksheets on each instrument of the orchestra. You can see there's 41 instruments there. A couple of ways you can use this. One is you could actually do this as an assignment and um, each student chooses a particular instrument to do. They complete the, um, the questions and then they put it into some sort of presentation and present it maybe to the class or record it as a podcast okay or as a video um, and you can mark it that way or it could be just something you could leave as um, a lesson for your um, if you're away you know with a casual teacher or a substitute teacher great one it, a non-music sub could cope with this really easy it's just research on a particular instrument so a nice fun little one to do nice and easy lots of um, ways you can use this particular one types of music ensembles Music can often be a great topic to research and write about, especially music ensembles from around the world. Everything from traditional Chinese music to Bhangra music from India can be explored. Whether it's the different instruments utilised in an Argentinian folk music ensemble or the incredible rhythms found within Turkish music, anyone interested in writing about music will have a wealth of music research topics to explore. Even things that you may never have thought of, like Kandobi music from Uruguay or the circus music from the Congo, can be investigated further and provide excellent context for a music research paper. By researching music ensembles from around the world, your music students can gain exceptional insights into cultural backgrounds, as well as appreciate the variety of musical ensembles that exist across the world today. So other types of music ensembles to research include Small ensembles, so this is duets, trios, quartets or quintets within a culture. Rock ensembles, different genres from the power trio to the rock big band. Jazz music ensembles, jazz quartets, quintets to big bands. And again, that could be jazz string quartets, jazz brass quartets, jazz woodwind quartets. Okay. Vocal ensembles, duets, trios, barbershop quartet, a cappella groups and choirs. Classical ensembles, string quartet, chamber orchestra to symphony orchestra. World music ensembles, you know, taiko drumming, the gamelan, um, Chinese orchestra to different folk groups. So much you could do within music ensembles. Musical instruments of a culture. Again, this sort of, all, they all tie in together, let's face it. But um, you could, depending on what you want to do with your kids, it depends on, on what you are actually trying to achieve with them um, and just to give them a broad thing. I like to give my kids a really broad range of um, topics to choose from. That way they have a bit of ownership. So music and instruments from cultures around the world are an intriguing and fascinating field of study. From ancient music that has been passed down through generations to music created in today's modern era, there is no shortage of music topics for research and writing about music. Your music students can explore the instruments used for various music styles and genres, ranging from the traditional Indian classical music to reggae music in Jamaica. Studying the use of these instruments, how they're made, and the methods of sound production can provide an understanding of how different cultures view music and its importance within their society. It is also an opportunity to discover a range of sounds, techniques, and instrumentation collected from other countries and regions. So just like the instruments of the orchestra worksheets, this is the world music version, okay? So again, you could do this as a whole class, give each student a different instrument or put them into small groups and they can work in pairs or trios or whatever. 
and get them to research an instrument um, and then maybe present it as an assignment in some way, shape or form. It could be something written. It could be, um, again, like I was saying, a video, a recorded video, it could be some sort of presentation or even a presentation to the class. So delving into music topics like these opens a unique way to appreciate artists from around the world by examining the use of traditional instruments to express their ideas, stories, cultures, beliefs, emotions and experiences. Again, so try those world instrument worksheets. Um, they're fantastic. Um, resource it's a great lesson again so many different ways you can use it musical techniques for performance different musical instruments require different performance techniques and practice methods to develop a music student's proficiency on their instrument researching music topics about their own instrument is therefore key to developing a well-rounded music knowledge and building a variety of musical performance skills that your music students can draw on to use their own performances when researching the performance techniques on an instrument, it's important to consider the various musical elements that factor into music making for that instrument, such as the different ways to make a sound unique. Additionally, looking at different music cultures that have similar instruments can provide perspective on the essential elements of music making for any instrument. By researching these music topics and exploring music from diverse cultures, music genres and styles, young musicians can broaden their knowledge and refine their performance techniques. Now, this particular topic I do with my year 12 students every year because I want them to know and understand their instrument really well so that they can, when they've studied their particular instrument and how other artists have used their instrument, other styles use their instrument, they can hopefully use, the idea is that they can use those techniques within their own performances and help make their music that they're creating and getting ready for their HSC exams more unique and more um, stylistically um, theirs, more original. Okay, so that's the idea behind it. So a great one to do for any um, young musician. They need to understand their own, own instrument. Musical techniques for composing. For those interested in exploring music composition techniques for songwriting, there are a plethora of music techniques or topics to research. Experimentation with chord progression, sound selection and structure can all lead to finding creative ways to write music. From analysing music theory and learning more about the basics of music notation to creating unique rhythms and melodies, there might be boundless music topics for research paper that require study and practice. So many different ways and so many different things they could be looking at for compositional techniques. Your students could choose to study the compositional techniques used within a certain style or genre, or even study more closely about a particular composer. There are plenty of songs to observe in order to further understand how music works, no matter what area of study the student has chosen. Writing about music involves learning these elements as well as charting any personal progress over time to move closer to using these compositional techniques in their own songwriting. And if you get the kids to actually look at composition, compositional techniques through the eyes or through the lens of the elements of music, they'll be able to hopefully not only develop their listening skills and their compositional skills, but also their performance skills. So it all ties into one another. Music festivals. Oh, this would be such a fun topic. So a music topic to research that is a little bit unusual would be to research music festivals. Music festivals have a long and varied history from ancient music festivals that celebrated a variety of religious and cultural events, such as the Dionysius Festival in Athens. Music festivals are vital to many cultures around the world. Music festivals have grown exponentially since then, and even today they continue to fascinate people globally. Today, music festivals can range from the traditional classical music performances in concert halls all the way to modern music performances with huge stages and pyrotechnics at large outdoor concerts, drawing tens of thousands of fans. Those looking to research this topic of music have a wealth of options, from legendary music composers or artists, music industry trends and the economic benefits to exploring how music is used as a tool for activism. Research on music festivals can be incredibly rewarding for any music student to study. And this is a real world topic in terms of if you're looking or doing 21st century music, sorry, not 21st century music, but 21st century learning, getting your kids to actually study the, a music festival and maybe um, a project-based learning assignment based on creating their own festival. Um, it, oh, so many real-world applications, so many real-world um, skills that they would be learning by doing that sort of assignment. But there's so many festivals out there to look at, okay, from, as I said, from classical, I think of Andrew Andre 
Rieu, the um, violinist, um, and he does a festival every year in his hometown. I can, people come from all around the world for that festival, um, to your rock and pop festivals, to folk music festivals, to world music festivals. Oh, there's so much around the world as um, a very, very broad topic to actually study. Nearly there, music and technology. The history of music technology has been a fascinating area of music research throughout the years. By exploring music topics related to music to technology, your music students can learn more about the music we love and how it came to be. Writing about music technology can take several approaches from a technical breakdown of specific instruments to an exploration of its roots in social movements. There are music topics for research on music technology spanning almost any interest. Investigating music te technology and its influence on music as an art form and the history can open new perspectives into how music is created, performed and enjoyed today. So some music technology research topics include the history of recording, the history of the microphone, history of electronic instruments, history of amplification, or even try a research, music research topic explaining how does a microphone work? How does an electric guitar work? How does a bass guitar work? How does a th synthesizer work? How does um, any, any number of things you could do for that um, great topic? I used this topic a few years ago uh, when we were in lockdown. It was a great topic. My kids could, I gave them all different things to actually do within this topic, but they could research it quite easily um, and was something they could do, I said, in lockdown when we couldn't do much else. All right, so our last topic is music for the stage. Writing about and researching music can be a daunting task, especially when it comes to music for the stage. Depending on the specific topic your student chooses to research, music for theatre plays or musicals can range from orchestral and classical musical pieces to jazz and rock ensembles. In some cases, music for the stage could even be used as accompaniment for spoken words, stories or even dance. Regardless of what type of music is chosen to study, researching music topics about music for the stage allows your music students to explore further genres and understand how music is used in a theatrical context. By studying different types of music for, from various time periods and regions, your students' music research paper will become more well-rounded and engaging. So some music for the stage topics include opera, rock opera, musical theatre, cabaret, Ballet, review, pantomime, contemporary dance. It could be the circus. It could be all sorts of things. And you think about um, even if you go into, say, musical theatre, within musical theatre, there's types of musical musical theatre. There's types of songs within musical theatre. Um, you look at ballet, the types of music that's written specifically for movement to tell a story, okay? Um, there's so many different ways that um, you could look at this topic and go into this topic and your students could study it. So these 15 music research topics provide plenty of ideas for creating engaging lessons, research projects and assignments that focus on both fundamental aspects of musical theory while still allowing room for creativity within each topic itself. Letting your students explore these music topics independently gives them access to invaluable information regarding various aspects related to making and enjoying great music regardless of its musical origin. So why not try one of these 15 fun music research topics with your music classes this year? By using some of these fun music research topics with your classes, you might find teaching music this way will help to ensure your class stays engaged while expanding their understanding of music appreciation. And if you've been watching some of my videos, you understand or been looking at what that I've been talking about when you give your students a choice in what they actually research or learn, they're more invested in the subject itself. So these are great topics and um, ideas to get those kids engaged in your lessons. Would you like some more ideas on how to make your music classes more interesting and fun? Try the ideas in the five ways to make over your music curriculum download. You can use the link on the screen, juliajulia.com forward slash make over your music curriculum or smoosh together. And I said that's a free download and it gives you five different ways that you can actually make over your music curriculum and help engage your students even more. Hi. I'm Julia from Julia Teaching Resources, and my mission is to help busy music teachers like you in classrooms around the world with resources you need to teach music appreciation to inspire the next generation of musicians. That's what I love to do. That's what I'm hoping that I'm doing with you today. 
want to know some more about the elements of music, go to my website or on this um, YouTube channel, lots of videos about the elements of music. And there's also, as I said, lots of information on my website, juliagu.com. It's all free. It's all there. Plenty for you to use with your classes. And if you're looking to buy some music resources because you don't have the time to do them yourself, go to my G, um, Teachers Pay Teacher store, GU Teaching Resources, and I've got like over 600 products there ready for you to use today. And so much there that you can use that's not funny um, or fantastic resources that are classroom tested and have been used with my kids over the years, and I know they'll work with yours. Want another freebie? Okay, if you'd like the Elements of Music mind maps, go to juliagia.com forward slash free mind maps and you'll get yourself a free download. Again, these are the mind maps that are used on every single one of my Elements of Music blog posts. Okay, that it explains everything. They're blank so that you can use them in your class and get your kids to actually um, fill them out as you're using them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I put out a new video every week. So make sure you subscribe. So I'm Julia from GU Teaching Resources. I hope I've given you stacks of information, stacks of um, different ideas that you can use with your classes, no matter what age, no matter what um, type of music you're studying, um, great assignments. This is in-class assignments, um, out-of-class assignments, independent research, group research, however you want to do it, doesn't matter, but there are 15 different topics that you could use as assignments with your classes this year. Okay, you could start right now, obviously, but it's something that you might be wanting to put into your teaching for next year. Until next time, I'm Julia from Julia Teaching Resources. Happy teaching. Bye.